Marcus, you're looking focused, you're looking ready. How, how do you feel now, so close to fight night? I feel great. I'm in a, I'm in a great place, both mentally and physically, and um, I just can't wait to get going now. Weight-wise, again, just a, I suppose just a few hours basically before you, you're going to step on the scales, more or less. Are you bang on it, more or less? Yeah, I'm bang on weight. Uh, my weight's been good for, for a long time now. It's come down perfectly, and you know I'm still eating you know three times a day, feeling good. So, yeah, like I said, I'm in a good place. Last time we spoke to you, you were talking about the, getting the call, taking your opportunity. Uh, you know, you, you, you recognise what a big opportunity it is and what a task you've got. Has anything changed over the last couple of weeks in terms of mentality and how you, you're going to challenge Chris Eubank Jr.? No, straight from the get-go, you know, eight weeks ago when I got the phone call, it was like bang straight into camp and focus your mind. And that's been, you know, right through camp. You know, you, you do start to sort of switch on a little bit more over the last... You know, you know, come up to, come up to close to the fight last first, well, last sort of couple of weeks of camp. You know, it's really when you start to sort of wind down, get your, your hard sessions out of the way, and really start to focus, focus on the fight. We know that you've been out with a chat for a Chinese with him back in the day, years and years yeah, ago. Yeah, was a long time ago, yeah. with him. Have you have you actually seen him in the bubble? Um, I bumped into him. Well, I didn't bump into him here uh, as I was coming out of my uh, my public my open workout. Uh, he was just going in his, you know, I see him ride for the first time as well uh, in the bubble. But yeah, the, you know, we, we, we only crossed paths and yeah, that was that. Mm. Now Anthony Crawler, who's here, obviously works alongside you all the time. Again, quietly yeah. confident about, about you going into this one because, I mean, you know, we've spoken before, you've had a couple of blips in your career, as Anthony did, and it was interesting because Anthony had the best part of his career after overcoming those blips. Is that something that you, you've thought about? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm past you know, that, that bad place I was, I was in, in in my career. And like you said, you know, Anthony, you know, didn't get off to the greatest start. And, you know, his, his main success and, you know, his world titles, you know, come well after. You know, I, I do actually remember people saying that Anthony won't get to uh, the level he got to. He'd, he'd only get to a certain level. And, you know, look what he, he went on to do. He, you know, he packed out, packed out the arena. And, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward and uh, I hope to do the same. And he's done the arena many times, as we know. You've been there before, you've fought there. Campbell Hatton, from your part of the world yeah. as well, is on this one. It's, it's kind of special, isn't it? You got, well, it's all kind of coming around again. It feels good. Yeah, it's, it's a, you know, I've got, I've got Anne to sort of thank for that, you know, getting on his undercards, you know, helped me out massively. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for Anne, you know, packing out the arena, you know, I, I doubt I'd be boxing there. So, you know, big thanks to Anne. And, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a great place. And, you know, being from Manchester, you know, there's, there's no better place to fight than in the arena. Just a couple of quick fires ones, just want your predictions on Taylor Jonas, it's a tricky one for you because I'm obviously very close to Natasha, but like Anthony, she's very live isn't she in this fight? And yeah, it's, you, that's it's, what uh, as well, it's, anyone would be silly to write Natasha off, she's you know, as, as good as Kate Taylor is and you know, amazing things she's done in, in women's boxing, you know, Natasha you know, is very much in this fight and I believe that Natasha you know, we'll, we'll, we'll pull it off. Main event, how do you say it? Um, it's a great fight. I think you know, um, whoever comes in with the best, best game plan and executes it, um, I believe you know, um, Parker's going to you know, try and box and move. But I think she's always going to you know, come, with the, come with the pressure and I think the pressure might sort of be too much. Finally, City flipped it last night, didn't they? And uh, they might even win the league this weekend. It could be a good weekend for you. Yeah, you know, it's a shame. You know, the, the quads are not on the cards no more. But yeah, I'm sure we're still coming away with the three. Final one. Two lads that have campaigned at middleweight, that's super middleweight next week. But Canelo, Billy Joe. Just give us your thoughts on that one. A uh, good fight, great fight. You know, especially for the first six rounds. Um, I really rate Billy Joe as a as a as a boxer. He, you know, anyone would do well to nick around off, off Billy Joe over the first six rounds. But, you know, for me, there's no stopping Canelo. He's, he's, a, he's unbeatable at the minute. He's untouchable. And, you know, I just think late on in the fight, he, he starts to get to Billy Joe. But I think, you know, for the first six rounds, it's a great fight, a uh, technical fight. But I see um, Canelo coming on strong towards the end.